How's it going, everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of awkward silence easy. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Uh, please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So I'm pretty good around people. Um, I talk quite a bit. Um, YouTube, I've made lots of videos on here, so I have developed a good... Um, I've, I have developed some good talking skills, even if I'm just talking to a camera, I have gotten better at talking to people. I'm, I've also been way more social lately than how I've been in the past. So that definitely helps with making things less, um, awkward, but how, wh what is the main thing that I've noticed from improving, um, like getting rid of that awkward silence? The main thing, in my opinion, that always happens when there's awkward silence, usually, is two people that have nothing in common, like literally nothing in common, and then they just don't know um, what to talk about. So, like, what could be an awkward, awkward situation would be, say, you have uh, maybe an older guy that you work with at work, and then maybe you're, like, maybe 20, 30 years younger than them. So, you may not have that much in common. Maybe they have a family. Maybe you're a young guy, like, to party, stuff like that. I don't know. But maybe you don't have that much in common. It could maybe be a little bit hard. There might be a little bit of awkward silence. If you just have no social skills in general, then there's going to be awkward silence all the time. Now, I, again, I used to have, like, no social skills either. So you'd go up to someone or you'd have to ask someone stuff and it'd be super awkward, right? Um, what I've noticed and what helps all the time now, if I ever talk to random people or anyone is talk about something that you're passionate about. So for example, um, just recently met someone like a week ago um, and uh, we started talking and um we were both into lifting weights. So he lifted weights, I lifted weights, and we just started talking about weightlifting. I think we started talking for like 45 minutes about weightlifting. So it was super cool. He was actually a super nice guy. And um, yeah, you just talk about your passion. It's, it's super easy. I love fitness. I love working out. I love health. I can talk to anyone about that for hours and hours and hours. And I do. People at my work, they work out too. So I talk to them all the time about working out, different stuff, deadlifting, what we're eating, pre-workout, stuff like that all the time. So when you talk about your passion, it makes things super, super easy. Um, if you don't like to lift weights or you don't lift weights, maybe you can find sports is very common, politics, um, even talk about the weather if you're into weather. So just talk about anything, anything, even if they're not passionate about it, you can talk about your passion and that can make things less um, awkward as well. Joking around, make jokes. I like making jokes all the time when I'm talking to people. I will, um, I will make fun of either myself or sometimes um, like you have a couple of friends, maybe you uh, joke around with them, maybe you make fun of them just a little bit, like you don't wanna hurt their feelings, but you can poke fun at them a little bit too. So that's always good. Um, and yeah, it just comes down, literally comes down to just being comfortable. Don't really worry what people said. I've said a lot of stupid things before to people that maybe didn't make sense and people have called me out on their they're like, wow, you're awkward. Or, like they say mean things and I just don't care anymore. I've, I just talked to so many people, I just don't care about it. So that's another thing is kind of being a little bit confident, having a little tougher skin and just um, not really worrying about it too much. So any video, thank you so much for watching.